To integrate an odd power of sine, we want to take one sine out and then replace the rest using the Pythagorean identity. So what I mean is, let's split sine cubed into sine squared times sine. We just took one sine out. Then we can replace this sine squared with one minus cosine squared because of the Pythagorean identity. Sine squared plus cosine squared is one, and so sine squared equals one minus cosine squared. So we'll replace this with this, and then we'll be able to use u substitution, which will clean up this one sine that we pulled out. Replacing this sine squared with one minus cosine squared gets us here. Then we can let u equal cosine. If we do that, then du equals negative sine x dx. We want sine x dx, so just multiply both sides of this equation by negative one, to get negative du equals sine x dx. Then we can rewrite our integral entirely in terms of u. u is cosine, so one minus cosine squared is one minus u squared. And of course, sine x dx is negative du. Again, taking that one factor of sine out in the beginning accomplished two things. It made the remaining power of sine even, so we could use the Pythagorean identity, and it gave us something that the u substitution could capture. Now, proceeding with this integral, let's distribute the negative through the parentheses. So now we have u squared minus one, and then it's just an application of the power rule. Increase the power of u by one and divide by the new power. And then negative one integrates to negative u, add the arbitrary constant, and replace u with what we set it equal to, which was cosine x. So finally, the integral of sine cubed of x is one-third cosine cubed of x minus cosine of x plus c. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus One course and Calculus One exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.